Hey guys, what's up? Um, before we continue on, I just want to say one thing. Merry Christmas to all of you guys. Which I forgot to do one for my Hot Wheels review. Which, even though this is a Transformers review, that I'm actually taking a look at it. But anyways, happy, Merry Christmas to everyone and Happy Holidays for everyone else. And let's see. And let's see what the New Year's is coming. So yeah. So anyways, um... I went to my local Ollie's uh, weeks ago to get something what I'm looking for, and I was actually pretty surprised about it. Um, today I'm gonna take a look at this right here. I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit like that. There we go. So today, figure I'm gonna take a look at the Transformers Legacy Buzz Worthy Bumblebee line. This one we have here is the Lux Class Autobot Silver Street. Before we continue on, you guys do me a little bit of quick favor, so I'll be right back. Hey you! Stop what you're doing! Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy your day. Now this figure right here was a Target exclusive line for Legacy, and I didn't even bother to get the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line because, well, I don't mostly because I didn't have the money for it. But the last time I actually saw this figure, I was actually gonna get it. At Burlington, but also I remember that one of my sellers on Twitter who blocked me for no reason. And also, if you've seen this, screw you, good sir. Anyways, um, I was actually planning to get this figure at Burlington, but I didn't even even bother to get him. So, long story short, when I saw this in Ollie's and I was waiting for it to go on clearance or something, when Ollie's had the um, the deals, Christmas deals going on for twenty five percent off, I jump in and. I got it. So anyways, here's what the front of the package is going to look like right here. You can see Silver Streak artwork right here in the vehicle mode. And you can see the side of the packaging, there's nothing. You can see there's RC, Mirage, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee down here. And the other side of the packaging, you can see the artwork for Silver Streak right there. And the back of the packaging showing off uh, that he can transform into 15 step. And that pretty much that's it. So yeah, now let's take a look over the accessories. The accessories that Silver Street comes with is the gun right here, cast in white, and the two little side bosses right there, as you guys can see, focus on the camera, which you can actually combine them together. Because there's two peg holes on each side, so yes, yeah, so let's plug this in, and let's plug the other one in here. And there you go. So yeah, but enough about that, let's take a look over the vehicle mode. So here it is, Silver Streak right here. Now, Silver Streak is a actually straight repaint of the Earthrise Prowl figure, if I can recall. I think it's a repaint of Prowl, which also a which also is one part of the Thoughts and Brother mode for Earthrise. And you guys already remember about the Dustin Brothers mode on Earthrise, a bunch of reports of it, and yeah. But also the color scheme you guys can see are Diacone color scheme, if I could I could be wrong. But if you guys can actually com correct me in the comments section. So anyways, even though a lot of people are going to say, oh, you do you mean Blue Streak? No, this is Silver Streak. Anyways, the painted sculpted the detail of this figure looks actually pretty cool. The shaded blue of this figure have, which is actually my favorite color, blue. With the silver paint on right here in the front of it only, which kind of sucks, looks absolutely amazing. He does have the Autobot symbol right here, and he does have some clear, clear plastic right here in the front of it, in the bay, even on the back of it right here, which that's one of the major complaints about it's the clear plastic. And man, I show what I don't know how brittle it is. I do have some issues with this figure, which is the left side of the wheel right here you guys can see was was very hard to move so I had to use a little bit of lubricant and sand it the side of it right there I had to pop up the wheels and it's rolled somewhat okay for now the other wheels rolls pretty well to be honest with you uh, you can see his head right there I'm also having some issues plugging these in and having these straightened out and the doors pop out. Yeah, this figure is actually, in the, the vehicle mode is actually good, but holding it together is not that great. Now, he does have a pig right there that you can plug in the gun right there. It's actually pretty cool. 
and the two and the two side of it right here can plug it in nice and well. For some reason, for this one right here, just go in like that, and that's it. And it just very loosely like, and plus it came out loosely, and didn't even bother to do this, but it's not coming out. But I don't know why it's loosely, and yeah, no clue why the weapons. I had some issues, but yeah. The transform uh, Silver Streak into Robot Mode is easy and simple. If you guys already seen my Blue Streak, Earthrise Blue Streak review years ago, remove all the weapons first, open the side doors, and have it all the way in, all the way out like that. Bring the arms down that far, bring it out like that. Bring out and make them face and forward like that. Push this piece down, and this piece, by the way, also loose. No clue why. Open this up. Bring these these the heels down. Strain out the leg. Be very, very careful because the whole leg system right here is cast in cla clear plastic, which a lot of people do not like. Twist this front, twist it around 180 degree. Now there's a double hinge right here, well, triple hinge, one here, one here, one here, that you want to make sure bring the pack back down like so. And this will connect to here. And you make sure that these pieces go in here, the tab in this part, which I did have some issues with it, so I did put a little bit of crazy glue on it to make sure it doesn't move out all the way out. So I fixed that. So plug it in nice and perfectly well. Bring out the arms like that. You bring the legs back. You split the, well, you split the doors back. And I split the legs like that so far. Make sure you have him straightened out. Wait before we finish this off. Flip these pieces down. And there we go. Come on, don't be in a dick. There we go. And there you have Silver Streak and his robot mode. Transformation was easy and simple, but I would but if you have any some issues with your copy, make sure you plug Make sure you put super glue on the side of the pegs that you can, that I showed you, and there you go. So here it is, Silver Streak. Now, I uh, forgot to mention one thing on my on the vehicle mode that I show you off. He has a little bit of silver. He only has silver in the front, which I think I already said that. But I wish it had some a little bit more silver on the vehicle mode and some color white on it. So you guys can see. Just in my opinion, and yeah. So, anyways, the paint is sculpted, the detail of the robot mode looks actually pretty cool. And this is actually pretty nice compared to compared to his mold brothers to Prowl, Smokescreen, uh, Blue Street, and Barricade. This is actually pretty cool. Now oh, I think I already said this. I think the this figure is representing the color scheme of Diaclone. If I could be wrong, you guys can actually correct me in the comments. Even though I sound like a broken record, I don't remember much, and I'm always tired. So yeah. Has on the other hand, looking fabulous. Look at it, pretty cool. Has some yellow on it, and the Autobot symbol is still right there in the chest. Pretty cool. Now, a lot of people have some reports of their copy of the head are stuck to hard to move, but for my copy, it's perfectly well. So if the head does go full 360, the head can go up that far, can go up down that far. Not much for pivot. Um, the door wings can move. Forward or back like that, but because of the the angle of this right here, the arms can only go this and that that far. Unfortunately, arms can move in and out. And I did have some issue with this bicep swivel, which is was so so hard to move, like a bit stiff to move. So I had to put a little bit of lubricant on both sides of it, and it's run perfectly well. So yeah, swivel at the bicep. Over 90 degree bend right there. Swivel at the wrist, full 360. 
Full 360 at the waist right there. We're actually pretty cool. Legs go going forward. Not that much backwards, unfortunately, which just kind of sucks. But if you have it at this angle, for no pair, okay, never mind. Can move back that far. And it's okay. So no wonder. Okay, that's pop off. Not to sell. Be very careful to do that. And can move that far. Okay. Uh, Blake can go in and out. You got some thighs full over right there for full 360. Over 90 degree bend at the knee. We got that due to the transformation. Feet can go up and down like that, but that due to the transformation. And the feet can pivot like that. So you do have some good decent possibility of this. And for weaponry, of course, side guns right there. You can plug into the robot mode. Same thing. So plug it in here. Plug it in here. And for the gun, it is hard to go in, but there we go. So yeah, this actually looks pretty cool. And like I said, the combine, you could do that, but I'm not going to show it off, so yeah. He does have some siege ports. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. And one back here, so it gets a total of seven right there. And yeah, that pretty much does it. Blue stick is actually pretty cool. I do like the shade of blue, but let's get on with the final post. Overall, Silver Streak is a good figure. I actually do highly recommend it to have this in your collection if you guys want to complete the Dots and Mother, the Dots and Mother Brother mode. Sorry, and I guess that pretty much is it. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna end this right here. So have fun, so safe, and I'm always. I'm out.